I am going to make history. Today marks the day that people will be talking about Quinkin. I'm going to start my journey here in the MLS, here in the United States. And I'm going to go all the way to Boston to become the manager of the New England Revolution. This is the start of my journey. I have a one year contract with New England Revolution and my job is to make them the best team in the MLS. But that's not all. I do have my personal goals and staying in the MLS is not fulfilling my potential. I can be one of the best coaches in the world my journey does not end in the MLS. I want to be able to lead the best teams in the world to victory. Teams like Manchester United, teams like Ajax, teams like Real Madrid, teams like Bayern Munich. My journey commences now, but I know there is a lot waiting for me in the future. Hey, what is up guys? It's me, Quinkin, and welcome to episode one of my New England Revolution career mode. Now, we're gonna get right into the squad, and this is a squad that I have made. I took out some players, I put in some players, and I changed the formation. So, in goal, we're gonna have Shanesworth, which is a 65 rated goalkeeper. That's pretty good, uh, because we're in the MLS, and you don't really need that good of a goalkeeper here in the MLS. Let's move on to the defensive line. We got Suarez and Gonclavis are the center backs. Pharrell, who I'm really, really excited to use in this career mode. He's a 68 rated uh, right back. He has good pace, good dribbling, and he's barely 22 years old, so we can really get his rating up. We'll also have Alston, who's a 63 rated left back. He can also play as a right back, but we have him in the left back position because I need pace on the wings. And we have another player that I would really want to use in this career mode, which is Fangundes. 66 rated. I thought it was going to be a little higher rated in FIFA 15, but he has good pace good skill moves we can really use them on the wings we got Ro uh, who I put in for a Japanese player but I decided to put him because he's young very good to use and I really want to use these young players they're so exciting uh, we got Jermaine Jones who came from Schalke from the Bundesliga as a center defensive mid and we got Nugent in the center mid role and Nugent is actually the most expensive player in my team and in the right wing position we have Burnberry which is another 66 rated a uh, right midfielder and overall he has good pace he's young too so I would really like to develop him uh, and the striker we have is Castillon nothing uh, too special about him he's just the best striker that we have and he's also barely 22 so there's a lot of young players in this team and I can't wait to use this starting 11 uh, this season now we move on to the substitutes and reserves I'm gonna be going a little quickly on these players because they're not as important but uh, we have Charlie Davis who can be substituted in uh, for Castillon we also have Kobayashi who can go in for Rowe we have this young Cam uh, 62 rated Newman Dorman who is 33 years old 63 rated we need a new center defensive mid we also have Tierney who can play as a left back Barnes as the center back 63 rated and we have Knighton who is 64 rated and I'm gonna be using him a lot uh, if we have any cup games we also have a good center back a decent strike here that's 63 rated and this guy Joseph this guy's 63 and he's like 34 years old he sucks so much and I'm thinking of getting rid of a bunch of players on my team and getting much younger players but the only players I'm really looking at are these strikers to use from these reserves and the center back but pretty much it uh, these are the substitutes and reserves that New England Revolution has in their squad in every career mode you should have a fitness squad to use for when your starting 11 is tired so that is what I made I made a fitness squad with the players I have and we have Knighton in goal we all know he's a 64 rated goalkeeper and now we move on to the defensive line we have Barnes in the left back position he can also play as a center back but I put him on the left back position we also have Goncalves uh, from the starting 11 we also put him in this squad because we need a good center back in the back and we also have McCarthy and we have Alston who plays as a left back for the starting 11 but we did move him to the right back position the center defensive mid we do have is Dorman and this guy hopefully he's a good center defensive mid for us uh, but uh, we are looking to replace him and getting a new one the left midfielder is Tierney who can actually play as a left back but he can also play as a left midfielder these players are very versatile our squad is very limited so there are a lot of players that can play in a lot of positions on the right mid position we do have Fangundes and this guy can play as a cam a striker a left mid a right mid and he's very versatile also 
but I'm looking to use this guy the most I can because I want him to grow a lot during my career mode. Now I might be bringing him along if I switch to another team, but this guy's a guy I'm going to take a look at in the future. We got Nugent who can play as a cam, 75 rated. This guy has good pace, good passing, overall the boss of this starting 11. And we have Mullins and Charlie Davis up front, a 64 rated striker and a 62 rated striker. Mullins is like 20 years old, so he's young, 62 rated, and I could really take advantage of him. So this is the fitness squad, and overall this is a great squad to use, a 4-1-2-1-2. I can't wait to use this squad for cup games. But I still might be switching around the squad and I might be able to use more first string players uh, in this squad. And these are the substitutes that I will be bringing along with me uh, with my starting 11. So we have Mbongo the striker who can either play for Charlie Davis or Mullins. We got Kobayashi who can play in the center defensive mid role or he can play on the wings. We also have Joseph just in case uh, Dorman is tired. Newman can come in for Nugent in that camp position. And we have Suarez who can come in for Goncalves because Goncalves is a starting 11 player and he might be uh, very tired. We also have Pharrell uh, in that right back position and the goalkeeper Shuttlesworth. These are the players that I'm looking to sell in the transfer window. Now, the transfer window is not open yet. I will show you that later in the video, but these are the players that I'm thinking of getting rid of. It's only two players because I can't get rid of any more because I only have 27 players in my squad. Now, we have this 61 rated striker, Akban, and uh, he is 26 year old and he's 61 rated. I don't see him doing that much for our squad. And we already have uh, so many good strikers on our team, so uh, he will be on his way out. We also have Dorman, who is 31 years old, and uh, he's 63 rated, but he's not cutting it, man. I'm thinking of getting rid of him and uh, getting a new center defensive mid that is much younger and can do so much more than him, but this is what I'm talking about. The MLS has a different schedule compared to other leagues and uh, our season is actually going to start in February. The transfer window is not open yet. We have to wait all the way until July to either sell or buy uh, some players. So that's going to be a long time. But during that time, I'm going to be doing the live commentaries. And once we make it to the July transfer window, that is when I will start doing post commentaries again for this series. But it's going to be a long way uh, to July. And you guys can suggest in the comment section down below which players you guys would like to see. Each MLS team only has around $2.6 million in the bank. So I'm going to have to really get some young players with low overall rating uh, into my squad. But that is what I wanted to tell you guys. I cannot sign any players yet until July. With that said and done, it was time for us to play our first friendly of the preseason. It's going to be New England Revolution versus CD Palestino. And this was going to be a very, very good game to see how our squad was. And this was actually a pretty good game versus Palestino. Our defense is actually pretty good. Uh, Suarez is a very, very good center back. I didn't know he was that good. He's only 63 rated and I felt like he was 70 rated. Now, Fangundes gets a very good opportunity to score here but a great save from the goalkeeper and Burnberry was doing some great defensive work and he's also defending and attacking this guy is so good he does some beautiful scissors centers it in and Rowe is there uh, for the header a lot was happening in the first half Pharrell with great defense and there are a lot of players I am very excited to use in this career mode now we go into the second half and Palacino was getting a little bit more of possession and we were backing up the line so I decided to put high pressure and that really took our squad uh, out of the box and into attacking mode now we get a very good opportunity of Castillon and he shoots it over the bar a very good opportunity but that wasn't all we were controlling the game Palestino did not get one shot on target and we decided to take out Goncalves and put in Barnes Goncalves wasn't playing that good and Suarez was doing so well in defense so I decided to take him out and the defense stayed intact and it was overall a very good game to see how our squad was but the game did end nil-nil and we did have two shots, one on target, 47% possession and the other team had one shot, none on target. So this was a very good game to see how we were and overall I'm feeling very good about our squad. So we do tie the game nil-nil. So I'm very happy with the squad. I know there are some changes we have to make. Uh, Goncalves I thought was going to be pretty good but for a 67 rated center back he's not that good. So uh, the 4-5-1 played very well. Fangundes was so good on the wings. Burnberry was good as hell too. And I'm so happy Fangundes has four-star skill moves. 
thank god he has that he deserves it and he's barely 18 years old so this is the end of the video if you guys did enjoy it remember to leave a like and a comment down below and since this is going to be an interactive series i want to ask you guys a question what do you guys think about this career mode? Should I keep doing it? It's going to be a journey career mode, like I said in the beginning of the video. And if I do leave this club in a year to Ajax or to uh, another club in Europe, it would be fantastic. But do you guys really want to see this career mode? It's a journey career mode. So I'm going to be leaving from club to club. It's going to be very fun. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm Quinkin, and I'll see you guys next time.